This is a typical Carlson point. It consists basically of three major entities. First, the point block. Inside the point block are three attributes, point number, the point description, and the point elevation. Point block can be placed on any layer you desire. By default, each attribute lies on a separate layer as well. The layers of each, the point block, and three attributes can be manipulated to the user's discretion. Apart from the point block is an optional symbol. In this case, it's just a circle. The symbols are contained in the symbol library, of which there are many. The third entity contained in a Carlson point, by default, is a node. In this case, the node is represented by a very small point, a dot. The node itself can take on a variety of shapes. Under the settings, IntelliCAD settings, and point style, there's a list of node shapes that can be selected as desired. The size of the node, as well, can be controlled. Whether or not to place the node is an option that is controlled in the point defaults. By default, the nodes are being placed in the drawing. If nodes are placed in the drawing, what's important to remember is Carlson sees the location of the node itself as the coordinate for the point. The coordinates for each point the northing, easting, elevation, along with the point number and description, are stored in an external file, a coordinate file database. You can edit that database through Edit Points command. Here is an example of a typical point database. As you can see, each column represents a point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description. When editing points in this point editor, you are editing directly to the external coordinate database. By default, the format for a Carlson coordinate file is Carlson alphanumeric. But as you can see, Carlson will also read several other formats. If object linking points and CRD file is on, when a change is made in the coordinate file, it is updated automatically in the drawing. 